Hello everyone, welcome to Black Butterfly Media TV. I'm your media host today. My name is Mary Ann Washington. Happy Thanksgiving everyone. Black Butterfly Media is here at the Cannon Center in beautiful Memphis, Tennessee at the world premiere of Uncle Curly's Classroom featuring your favorite uncle, Uncle Curly, portrayed by actor, playwright, director, producer, A.D. Smith. Also in the production, all the way from the have and have nots, actor Tyler Lepley, and from Love Thy Neighbor, actor Tony Grant. We got a whole bunch of hot, hot, hot interviews coming up in just a moment, so sit back and enjoy. <laughs> Welcome back to Black Butterfly Media TV. My name is Mary Ann Washington, and I'm so excited to be standing next to Mr. Tony Grant. Hello, how are you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm great. Welcome to Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you very much. I'm so happy to be here. I'm excited. I heard you've been here all week long. You've been having a good time. I have. I done ate up all y'all's food. It's so real good. <laughs> this is really fantastic. Well, let me, let me ask you a question. What is it? What attracted you to this project? Was it the message? What attracted you t here to be a part of Uncle? Curly's classroom. First of all, it was the writer, uh, Mr. A. D. Smith. His his spirit just drew me in. Once I got on the phone and started talking to him, uh, it was wonderful. And then when I saw the, I read the script rather, and uh, saw what he was trying to do, I was like, Oh yeah, I'm in. Let's do it. Definitely. So, what attracts you to a, a particular? play is it uh is it the the script is it the the message that's in the script because i know a lot of people calling you and say hey tony be a part of my my show yes it's mostly the message the uh message. it definitely has to have a very positive message or it has to have an a message that can help you know encourage people and uplift them mm -hmm. um I mean, i've seen some really really good scripts and it had a terrible message so i, I just turned it down so how long have you been acting? Ooh, 25 years. So what was it like to transition from the small screen to the big screen to the big stage to the to television? What was the transition like for you? Well, you know what? It was actually kind of easy because I started um, on stage. Mm -hmm. I started singing. Well, I'm going to yeah, take yeah, that yeah, back. Yeah. I started playing drums first. Okay. Then I started singing. Mm -hmm. And then I went to theater on stage. And then I went to film and television. Mm -hmm. And that transition has been fantastic. It hasn't been hard for me at all. Um, only the, the most difficult part of it is being on stage you have to project and film and television you got to pull it all the way back it's just act natural that's a little hard for us as you know African Americans yes sir so you're here in Memphis and I'm just so excited I'm are, are you going to be doing anything else in Memphis any other type of shows in Memphis I'm going to be you know I'm going to continue to work with Mr. A.D. Smith here as much as I possibly can um, but well, you're going to be working with me because I'm going to be working with A.D. well there it is see I'll be working with you as well but if and if it calls you know someone else calls and wants me to do something here in the city i'm gonna definitely do it do you miss singing i still sing i don't hold that back That's i still right, do because you doing gospel now i do both i do okay. gospel r and B. I i do uh anything that i can okay all right well thank you so much this is mr tony grant the left lead i'm good sir i'm nervous why because do hugs help you not be nervous yes yes it's gonna help hugs. Hugs always Take make picture. me. Take picture. Hugs, <laughs> hugs stop my nerves from going too. So maybe I can. <laughs> Thank help. you. Thank you, Mr. Lefley. Sure. You're just about as old as my son is. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Black Butterfly Media TV. I'm back with Tyler Lepley with all the way from the haves and have nots. Now tell me, what do a man with a criminal justice degree 
doing acting. How, how did uh, acting discover you? Absolutely. You know what? God will do it for you because yeah. I was, you yeah. know what? I had a degree. I, uh-huh. I got a job in the, in the field. Right. And, you know, my nine to five just wasn't giving me what I wanted out of life, you know? Right. So I moved to Los Angeles. Uh, you know, I was a gym rat, so I got a job in a gym real quick. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you know, much to my surprise, like about three months into it, someone had approached me in the gym, like one of these cliche Hollywood stories. And like, I thought it was like a gimmick at first. I thought he was just trying to pull my leg. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he was just having a tough time um, finding this one role in a smaller film he was producing. So he extended me an audition to see, you know, because on paper, the, he said the guy was just like me. So I walked in, I did it, didn't know what I was doing, um, but I ended up booking the role. And that was, uh, you know, the start of my acting career. The start of your acting career. <laughs> and now you're on the have and have nots. Mm-hmm. And congratulations. I hear that it is the number one highest rated show on the uh, Oprah Winfrey Network. Congratulations on that. What is it like to have an Oprah Winfrey as your boss? Oh, well, you know, I, I, when I see her, I still get speechless sometimes. But, uh, you know, just like, uh, you know, hugs for you settled your nerves. She's the same way. And she's really, uh, she's very down to earth, very sweet, very humble. Um, you know, Mr. Perry's the same way. So it's like, you know, on top of having a really, a really cool job and a good job, I'm able to provide my family. Um, I think what I appreciate more than that is I have, uh, you know, mentors that kind of steer me the right way, you know, and they've been doing it. They, they keep coming back and, and, um, you know, giving new people stardom and whatnot. And, you know, on top of teaching us everything that we should do on set, you know, they take a lot of time um, off set to just, you know, talk with us about what we should be doing in life too. You know, so it's it's cool to have them around as my bosses. So you can pass it on down to people like that. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, for sure, for like sure. ABC. Yeah. So what attracted you to this project here in Memphis, Tennessee? We're so happy to have you. Um, well, first things first, I was really excited about doing my first stage play. You know, I'd gotten some uh, success early in my career with the television and films, and I think it's a really important medium to learn in. Um, you know, when you can't call cut, you can't call, you know, there's no action, there's no editors helping you out. You really got to go live something for three hours. You know what I mean? So, like, that was the first thing that attracted me to it. And then second was, um, you know, I actually see a lot of, uh, you know, Tyler Perry, like the vision that he has and the yeah. focus that he has. I actually see a lot of it in yeah. A.D. Smith. Yeah, I really do. And it's like I was also just really happy that, he would extend me this opportunity um, in the beginning stages of how big I, I believe and I know that he's going to be. Yeah. So it was really cool for me that I could be a part of the growing experience too. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to Black Butterfly Media TV. We appreciate it. This is Marianne Washington. We'll be right back with some more hot interviews in just a moment. Thank you. All right, this is Mary Ann Washington, and we're back. We're here with Uncle Curly's, at Uncle Curly's Classroom Red Carpet Premiere, and I'm here with the writer, the director, the <laughs> producer, the actor, A.D. Smith III. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing well, doing well. You're attracting all the celebrities here. <laughs> it seems that way, doesn't it? It is that way. <laughs> What's the secret? I don't know, but I mean, if you... If you desire something in life, I think you should be around like-minded people. Mm-hmm. So I, I desire to be the best, so I, I try to bring the best best to the city. So what inspired you to write this this show? Um, I've been writing plays for about three, four years now, and uh, of course, oh. it's been, I've been writing for about 10 years, but okay. specifically plays. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, you know, I've been working on Uncle Curly, and like I said, Uncle Curly is that family member that Every family has, but nobody wants to claim. Yeah, he's kind of like he's lost in time. A right, little. exactly. You probably saw him yesterday at Thanksgiving dinner somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to claim. Him. Right, right, right. But that's Uncle Curly, and um, so I know I wanted to do something different for this place. So we made it Uncle Curly's classroom, and he's a substitute teacher. Right. So he 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 invades the school, thinking he's gonna you know teach these kids a lesson. But uh-huh. one thing he doesn't know is that the kids of today are not like the kids of yesterday. So he's he's really thinking about. Thinking like these kids are from his people. Right, boy. but they have a little something for him, so he has to call them back up. So that's why we, we got our guys that came in for the backup. You got actor Tony Grant, you got uh, Tyler Lepley uh, to be a part of this production. Um, how, how, how did all that come about? Well, I know this time I wanted to get someone uh, from the outside of celebrity, as you said, to come. Uh, I know we have a great product, but it doesn't, it doesn't hurt when you get someone who already has a reputable right. name to be right. in it. Absolutely. So um, I've always wanted to work with Tony Grant for a long time. Yeah. And yeah, right, he's been in so many plays and uh, mm-hmm. I called him, he was such a humble guy, he was so down to earth. And I said, you know what, let's, let's make it two for one. Okay. So I said, you know, uh, I know the have and the have nots is hot right now. And I said, 
I'm just going to reach out to Tyler Lipley, and as you see, it worked out. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on the stage play. Uh, Tyler's uh, A.D. Smith, Uncle Curly's classroom. Uncle Curly, we'll be right back in just a moment. We have a theater community here in Memphis, a very vibrant theater community. Wow. And they would love to hear some acting tips from you. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay, well, don't act. Just be. Okay. That's the biggest thing. When, when I do the uh, emotional scenes and mm -hmm. the tears come, mm -hmm. they're not fake. Mm -hmm. Because if you're faking it, the audience can feel, whether right. it's TV, film, mm -hmm. or theater, they know when you're not keeping it real. Mm -hmm. Because I also feed off of the energy of the audience, too, on stage, yes, which is yes. so much fun to do stage and on stage if you drop something mm -hmm. pick it up instead of right but don't do don't pretend like it didn't fall because the entire audience saw it go on the floor so you just keep saying your lines and go girl yeah I went to the store and I got that you pick it up and keep it moving with the lines always be real always, be always just be in the moment and be the character mm -hmm. and and there are different methods to find you can you can do the emotional recall method which is sometimes dangerous because you're recalling a situation that actually happened right or you can just really empathize with the character that you're playing mm -hmm. and that helps you to become a part of that as well but yeah and pray and pray pray before every play Every time you get on set, everything that you do, just always acknowledge God, because if you put him first, he'll put you first, and then he'll bless you. So what have you, uh, you're in the play right, I mean, you're in the movie right now, The Man for Three, mm -hmm. B, congratulations on that. Tell us a little bit about your character. The Man in 3B actually is written by Mr. Carl Weber, and he wrote these characters in a novel at first. So they have that novel feel. And Nancy, my character, she is, she's sweetheart, but she's messing around on her husband with a man in the same building. Isn't that something? <laughs> but see, here's the thing. Nancy is in love with this man. They're in love. With She's him. in lust with that man. Lust and love. She's in love. <laughs> yeah, and it's just a, a common thing where sometimes people get together and they marry the person they really shouldn't, yeah. and then now they've messed up because now you're out of God's will, and now you done found the person you really, really wanted to be with, but right. it's too late because you've bonded mm -hmm. with someone else. So now you're in this unequally yoked situation. Yeah when you should have just been patient and prayed and waited mm -hmm. to be in the possibly equally yoked situation. So she's stuck. Uh -huh. And and her romance is, is beautiful to a degree, but it's wrong biblically. Mm -hmm. You know, it's beautiful because you can see these two people love each other. They really care about each other, but they so wrong. They're wronger than two left shoes, girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, uh, what is it that you like about, what attracted you to, to the field of acting? Because you're a model too, right? Yes, I do. You can tell how beautiful she is Aww, that she's a thank model. Thank you. I thank God. <laughs> thank you so much. So how did that transition happen from this? From walking the catwalk to the to the big screen. That's funny. You know, you know, it's funny. Last time I walked the catwalk. Well, no, that that was more recent. But 20 years prior to that, my heel got stuck in a crack, and I went flat on the face. And I said, I will never do runway again. <laughs> but I did a lot of print for Ebony and Jet, and just did runway with my 14 year old fashion designer daughter, and she's also a model. Just recently did a show, and I did not fall on my face. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> uh, but I actually, my mom and and grandmother used to put me and plays at church yeah. and then when I got to high school I I would write projects for myself mm -hmm. because I wanted A's in English and she allowed us our teacher sister Dorothy allowed us to do creative things and write skits so that's how I even got into writing and I write scripts and plays and poetry and yeah. I'm working on a book right now so thank you oh thank you God. so much so I, I just think that we all I was just talking to this beautiful young lady over here saying that we all are multi-talented yes, yes. we just all do not use the talents that God has given us mm -hmm. but it would be amazing if we did tap into everything that God because I know that gnat is trying to come over here. Go on somewhere, Mr. Gnat. Advice, but you know, you know what you <laughs> just, know, not just don't knock me out. Okay, I will not. No. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Thank you. So you are you. One more question. What is Please. it that you have not done that you want to do? Uh, I am trying to do my own film. Okay. I want to produce 
my own film. My husband, Tony Grant, and I are going to start a production company soon. If he could just start saying no to other people because he gets requests every day for another project. So we can just focus on us yes. and our productions. And then we want to hire cast and crew of people that we've seen do such an amazing job that we've worked with throughout the years. Oh, yeah. So that's what I want to do. I want to put up something I've written. That would mean a lot to me. But I did have a dream come true working with Mr. Tyler Perry, girl. Oh, on Love Thy Neighbor. I played oh, the crazy date opposite my husband. Oh, what was it like working it was, with Mr. Perry? He is so much fun. I bet. And he makes you feel relaxed. Mm -hmm. And and he turned on some country music and started singing with it and just being silly. He, he has a knack of being fun and silly, but yet he's serious and he gets it done. So yeah, it was a great experience and thank you, Mr. Perry, if you and see this. <laughs> he will see this. And, and he's creating so many opportunities for African American actors yes. and, and even in front of the scene and behind the scene and now you guys are going to be creating opportunities as well for the people that Girl, what? You better speak that thing as though it is. Come on now. <laughs> Don't forget about your people here in Memphis, Tennessee. You got some talented actors here in Memphis, Tennessee. Can I tell you that the people here have been so wonderful to us? They have fed us, and anytime you feed me, you become my best friend. And they've really just taken great care of us. Yeah. Everybody has been beautiful. So Sherry yes. Neely, I love you. I love, I love Sherry Neely. I, I love uh, Ornitha, who has a book out, and her husband, the photographer. It's just been great. A. D. Smith, and I'm here to see Uncle Curly's classroom, y'all. Here at the Cannon Center, and yeah, in Memphis, Tennessee, I did I did a few plays here. Actually, I did uh, uh, the cleanup woman here years ago at the Orpheum. I remember yes, that show. I, remember that show? I was the the leading lady. I was the one who had to hire the the maid, and uh, isn't that amazing? And Mrs. Independent, my husband and I did Mrs. Independent here at this theater, Priest Tyre's Mrs. Independent, a few years ago. So yeah. It's been a blast. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much. I'm so honored to be talking to you. I tell you I'm honored to be talking to you. And thank you for, for having me. And God bless your career, too, okay? God bless you. Remember. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you heard it. Yeah. I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> this is Black Butterfly Media. We'll be right back. Black but Butterfly. <laughs> Black Butterfly. I'm going to get it out. Black Butterfly. That's it. <laughs>